But the weather is super nice today as well. Just the perfect spring weather. Basically, I've just been potting the plant because I need to do that. And it's very therapeutic because I've never really potted a plant before. Normally the plants that I get, they'll, when they were at the nursery that we go to, they'll plant it and pot it for us. So it was very nice therapeutic to do it. And I really enjoyed it. And it made me feel very grounded um, whilst potting the plant. So I really did enjoy it. My little plant just looks so beautiful now. It looks so much more happier. Before it was always like leaning almost out the like the plant pot, but like not leaning in a good way. It was just kind of flopping over. So and we're gonna also trim back some leaves because the spring summer weather is here and we want the weather to help the plant blossom. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go inside because my hay fever is starting to get a bit bad. But yeah. <laughs> I thought it would be super nice to have like a little cooking talk for us because I feel like everybody needs like a nice cooking talk in life. The point of this video is to talk about changes and you know the mindfulness like it's not bad to be mindful of changes and you know I think having changes in life is super duper you know normal like um I would have died to hear this a couple months ago. I was really struggling because for me it was a new change and for a lot of people as well it was a new change a lot happened and you know the literal idea of a new chapter that's what it felt like i was so excited and i really wanted to make like lots of cool new friends make all these memories in my first year i'm coming like i only have a couple of weeks left on my exams now and i'm coming to the end of my first year already have i made a proper single friend where i can just call or message or even have them on social media no and i just want to let you guys know that's all right like it's so it's fine and the idea of being so mindful about these situations is also so important but i'll get to that in a minute i've changed a lot as a person i think this idea of me going through this very heavy depressive and anxiety filled state which happened like you know the peak of it happened in november last year one of those scenarios where it was honestly not the best but it could have been better and a more important factor about all this is that I was mindful. I was so mindful about this. I knew what was going on in my head. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going through all these changes. And I was like aware of, you know, all the, the negatives that were happening. I would say I was trying to focus on some positives. Not a lot of positives happened. And that was a very much also a struggle. I am very much a positive outlook person. And I was struggling to find a positive outlook. And I also think that also weighed in quite heavily for a lot of <laughs> scenarios and issues that happened you know part of your life where you're realizing that you're in changing and stuff and it may at the time feel like nothing's happening but i for example like me i felt like nothing was happening nothing good was happening in my life i soon came to realize that um i was completely wrong i honestly think i have developed a lot as a person but i'm going to talk you through as well how i make my little rice dish it's uh inspired by kujin and q1's amazing cooking um okay maybe not kujin we love you kujin but i'll talk you through guys how i make my like little rice dish so you just cook the rice normally however you like your rice just cook the rice now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna read it out from my notion i write it all on my notion so if you guys want i can link that down below and hopefully you guys can see it. I don't know how that works, but I'll try. Um, so I'm gonna melt some butter in a pot, one tablespoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of paprika, um, cumin seeds and a bay leaf. And I'm just gonna mix it all together. I already, I feel like a lot of thirsty households have this, but like already like mixed kind of um, mixed seasonings already in one. Cause that's what Q1 used. That's what she used and that's fine. I'm just gonna use my own spices already mixed in together and call it a day. <laughs> so this, like, I just wanted to conclude this idea of changing and for me, for uni, like I said, I was so mindful. I knew what was going on. I knew how my life was being impacted. I would literally stay awake at nighttime and think about this scenarios. And even if I messaged some of my high school friends from college and stuff, so I feel like they wouldn't necessarily reply to me and you know or if they did it would take a long time or they would kind of I would bring it up in a discussion about something if I'm sending a voice note but they would say something like they wouldn't even really necessarily respond I would like to say they tried to help 
but they didn't, <laughs> which is fine. They've got their own lives going on and that's fine. That's fine. I'm completely okay with that. But it was just the fact of me needing someone or something. Even YouTubers at the time where I was wishing that YouTubers had something to say. <laughs> And then, you know, I think what really connects me, I think a lot of, I don't know, I think I mentioned this in one of my previous videos. And I think what really does connect me to two specific YouTubers, uh, Q2 Han, which is Q2 and Q1, my literally, I love them so much. I have been literally following them since like 2016, I think. And they, I don't know, they just put a smile on your face. They're just the most, they warm your insides up so much and I love that. And then also Sissel. And recently Sissel has taken a new approach to her YouTube and I really, really enjoy this aspect of her because it makes me know that I'm not alone. But yeah, my loves, don't be scared about this at all. Please don't be scared. It is a scary scenario, but don't think that it will last forever, especially if you're in a transitioning moment. Oh my God. We are in my beautiful bedroom and I'm about to put on a show or maybe a show, I don't know. But, uh, what have we got today to eat? I'm so excited. I'm so hungry as well. Um, I got some rice, um, which was made with some a lot of spices, and it smell it smells so good. And then I got some salad, like vegetables. Whoa! Look how colorful it looks, even on camera. This is like without a filter as well, which is like so exciting. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The rice could be warmed up a bit because it's a bit cold, but it's not bad for a first try. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, I want to have some salad with it. This is so good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, you're going to make this. Okay. I would just recommend warming it up, which I might have to go and do, but this is a 10 out of 10. We're so stressed out these days because we believe everything needs to happen right now. We forget that everything happens in perfect timing. We always want everything to happen instantly. If we don't see anything changing on the outside, we start to lose faith in the power to manifest our reality. We might even start doubting if it's real or possible. 